It's an art form to not give a f. Oh, yeah, back to what I do. Catfish, Billy, baby, hello, how are you? Yo, I were nine rappers like a power line, fell into a swimming pool. I think I got the whole crew. Who? Let me know what y'all wanna do. I bought a 30 pack of creek water, baby, boo. Not a 99, not a 99.99, not mine. We're gonna go ahead and throw the carpet in. We did attempt to lay the old carpet over the top of this, but it's it's not lining up right. So rather than, than risk it and make the wrong cuts, we're gonna put it in the car. We're probably gonna put an initial slit right here uh, in the carpet. And as you can see, it's already stained my new carpet up because of all the rust. So for that reason, we're done with that. This is not gonna be fun. This is gonna take a little bit of time, but it's about to rain as you can see. So we'll get this thing in, Let's see what it looks like. It's only a matter of time. We have the carpet in. Obviously it needs to relax a little bit. It's been 5,000 degrees down south and now all of a sudden today, it decides it wants to be cool and rain. Well, when I say cool, it's probably like 85 degrees. It has literally not rained here in two months. And all of a sudden, now it wants to rain today and the, uh, we, can't, we don't have any sun to be able to put the uh, carpet out and let it relax a little. So what we're gonna have to do is let this kind of just lay here for a little while, relax, chill out take a break you know we're gonna give it a spa day it's starting to come together though guys look at that okay we had to break down and steal the steamer from the wife so as you can see andrew is steaming the carpet steamed up the uh <laughs> this is the mass backed carpet so this is a really thick stuff and you know this stuff's aggravating Guys, you gotta take your time on it. Uh, we have some, some stuff bunched up over here in the back and we're really gonna have to work with this. If you have one of these steamers, break it out. It makes life so much better. Or do what you're supposed to do and put this out in the hot sun one day, let it sit for a couple of hours and let it get pretty soft and pliable. And hot? Yeah, it's like a sauna inside the car. We're gonna jump back to this, see if we can get this knocked out and uh, hopefully here pretty soon, we'll have this interior together. We're going to go ahead and spray this. Now, it's extremely too humid right now to really be doing this. We're at least going to go ahead and get a light coat on it and see what happens. So I can already tell that it's, it's drying up like a milky kind of pasty look. And that tells me that it is too humid tonight, but that's all right. We just want to get a coat on it tonight that way tomorrow whenever i come out here uh we can really lay it to it and it'll be good so we'll go ahead and take it in just so i can show you the difference now this obviously doesn't have enough paint on it but as you can see it's real pasty uh, that is humidity so if you're having problems with this and it's not spraying or laying right and it's looking real pasty and more than likely it's going to be because it's too humid outside but for base coat that's perfectly fine that just lets us know that uh that's probably all we're going to be able to do tonight as far as spraying so we're not going to spray anything else tonight figures like i said it hadn't rained here in two months and all of a sudden you know it wants to rain and get humid yeah so you got to buy one of these special boxes from lmr if you want to steam your carpet so this is where we're at with this. We're trying to devise ways of stretching this carpet and making it lay good. The car is coming together, guys. We're slowly but surely getting this carpet, you know, to lay down. The dash looks great, looks wonderful. So we're good there. The console is gonna look fine. We have a bunch of new parts to put in this thing. It just sucks, we can't do it tonight. Uh, everything just, you know, it started working out pretty good. Everything was lining up. All the paint was just turning out perfect. And then, uh, the rain came so with rain comes humidity tonight i think what we're going to do for now is clean out the uh the back of the car vacuum it all out take a wire wheel clean it up and then put some pour 15 in the back keep everything from rusting and then we're going to lay the hatch carpet and we're also going to put the panels in on the side so we're going to put these in and uh, hopefully that'll give us a head start for tomorrow and 
think we're going to hold out on seats. We're not going to put those in tonight. All right, so here we are back here. As you can see, there's some uh, slight surface rust. So what we're going to do is just vacuum everything out, get this looking nice, and like I said, put some pour 15 around here. You know, you know, you know. Well, we went ahead and pulled the old seats out of the shed back here. As you can see, they're in pretty rough shape. We got a broken hinge. Uh, I don't 100% know exactly how these seats work, so I'm not gonna pretend like I do. But uh, we do have the Retro Fox for reference. I'll show you what they look like right now before we get them all cleaned up. So they're not a bad seat by any means. It was dirty. Yeah, they're just dirty. So. Hopefully, we'll get them in the car and see if we can get these things bolted up. So I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes. Exactly. We got the seats in, finally. I'll be honest with you guys, I had no clue of how these seats actually really mounted. There's a lot of moving parts on these hatchback seats, and I didn't do a how-to on it because I didn't know how to. Underneath here, you can see there is your, your bolts, you know, on either side there. Take those off if you need to remove these, these seats, and you can just slide each seat individually out rather than trying to take these brackets off, so. We did learn that. I tell you, me and Andrew were just talking. It's like every time I mess with one of these cars, I learn something new. You know, I'm not I'm not a Fox Body guru by any means, but you know, I know these cars pretty good. I'm telling you, every time we mess with it, it's like I learn something new, and there's nothing wrong with that. So uh, anyway, we have to finish assembling these seats, and I have recorded so much footage already, guys. I'm just you know, I'm not gonna be able to record everything. So we're gonna go ahead, finish assembling these seats now they are dirty and, and that's intentional we wanted to make sure that we could get the seats in the car and get them bolted up uh, we are going to take these seats out and recover them at some point but for the time being i'll probably just get the shampooer out here and clean them up hopefully within the next month we'll have these things recovered now guys i ain't gonna lie to you it took some time to get these damn things to work but look we just got to put our carpet in which we have but check this out though isn't this just a nice sight Everything's got chassis saver on it. This interior is really starting to come together. Quick update guys, it is the next day. The rain is gone, at least for now anyway. We have some clear skies. I'll show you the parts that I have sprayed. Everything looks really good. Um, and if you guys remember, this is the red console that come out of the donor car right here. And all I did on this was just put a couple light coats over the top just like a mist coat to blend everything in this was that old faded out red console and man it looks really good you can go in and spray the underside of everything i'm honestly not going to do that because i'm running short on paint so i think i'm going to paint one more thing for you guys and uh, put it on camera so you can see the difference and we'll go from there these are your panels that go in the back of your trunk right under your your hatch so this one's pretty beat up right here and LMR sells these new, so I think I'm gonna order a new set. But for right now, uh, we're gonna go ahead and save these things. I'll tell you what on camera, let's just go ahead and do the small one right now. Let's do this one. So here you go, it's rough, it looks like crap. But I'll show you guys real quick like just how fast you can turn this thing from that into new again.
I'll show you guys a little trick and it doesn't always work, but on these spots right here, we have really deep gouges and grooves. You can take like a little torch and you can heat this up, believe it or not. And it'll get rid of a lot of these little small imperfections that you have. You gotta be careful though. I really don't recommend doing this, but it will work. That helped a little bit right there. I know you guys can't really see it, but it did help some. So now, uh, this panel already looks a lot better. We're gonna go ahead and hit this thing with a light coat. Yeah guys, it's not wanting to dry up, so the, the humidity has come back in on us. Before we waste any more paint on this, I'm not going to show you guys uh, probably really any more of this type of stuff because what we're going to do is focus more on putting the interior back in the car, giving you guys some tips and some tricks on that because we're going to cover all of the door panel stuff in the video, so don't worry about that. I'll show you how to pull all of this off, how to dye everything, how to replace the armrest, the arm pads, and freshen up all of this here. No worries there, the important stuff that you really wanna see, I'm gonna cover for you, but stuff like this, we just gotta get it as we can get it. All right guys, I'll catch back up with you in a few. Whoa, dangerous mind of a 22 year old me. Damn, what 